If you guys need players, coins, or training, make sure to check out MrMuckCoin.com. Use my code Mike at checkout for 40% off of everything. It is the safest and most reliable site on the market right now. Again, use my code Mike at checkout for 40% off of everything. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another No Money Spent episode. In today's episode, we will be acquiring the 90 overall Ezekiel Elliott, the free player that EA gave us for doing some solos. And my God. Were those solos annoying? If my songs go pop, 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 what makes you think I'm not okay with that? I took my backpack off, 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 ready to change the game and run the track. Y'all thinking I'ma fall off? I'm Thomas the engine. Two seconds, you get your rocks off. That's why they said you're all soft. So I paint over the scene like I'm Bob Ross. I got weed songs. If you smoke good, I got peace songs. If you ain't so hood, that you can't kick it, get it, have a party. Oh shit, how we don't hurt. If you would like to acquire this Ezekiel Elliott for yourself, which I definitely encourage you to do that because these cards lead to even better cards down the road. But still, the Zeke is actually pretty good. If you power him up, he has 90 speed. Uh, he's pretty thick, which means he'll fall forward a lot. If you go to challenges right here, what you need to do is get 80 stars on the Gridiron Forge. And as you see, I have 90 right now. These solos are kind of annoying. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. They're kind of hard. I need to get 100 because I'd like to be able to get the elite pack. And I think it's like a, a mission milestone or something like that where uh, if you complete the entire Gridiron Forge, uh, you can proceed forward with another set of solo challenges. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it's what happened with the original Gridiron Forge. This one, if you had 102, you got something for Mutt Master, I think, something like that. But uh, if you want to get this Zeke, you have to play these solos. You only need 80 stars. Once you get 80 stars, you get that 90 overall Ezekiel Elliott. You also get, as you can see here, Gridiron Pack, Pro Fantasy Pack, and a 76 plus gold player. So the rewards are decent, but if you need a good running back, Zeke is a good option. So as you guys can see, we have, uh, well, I mean, we essentially have three starting running backs on our team. Kamara doesn't get a whole lot of time anymore. Derrick Henry is our main back, but I mean, we can't not use Ezekiel Elliott, okay? Maybe if we wanted a quick sell, we could. He does quick sell for 2,500 training, which is a solid amount, but I'm not going to quick sell him just for the possibility, the chance that he could go into uh, another set that gets me another player. But for those wondering his stats, these are them right here. Like I said, decent speed, but he's got good trucking and good break tackle. Six foot, 228 pounds, so he's definitely kind of thick. We like him more like 230, 240, uh, especially for those power backs, for those backs to fall for. But Zeke, elusive back, he's probably going to get spin cycle, jukebox, all those types of things. He's probably going to start on my team, or at least maybe get a couple reps, but most of the time it's going to be it's going to be King Henry's spot to lose. So Alvin Kamara is normally my halfback number two. We are going to take him out, and we are going to put in Zeke. We now have three running backs that are good, like really, really good. We literally have a power back, uh, I would say a versatile back in Ezekiel Elliott, and then we have a receiving back in Alvin Kamara. So we have a lot. Uh, whoever gets an upgrade first, is probably going to be the main starting running back on our team. I really, really hope it's Derrick Henry because I'd love to be able to use this Derrick Henry literally the entire year. Uh, and speaking of use the entire year, there's a lot of spots here that we have to upgrade. Uh, you know, our team has gotten a little outdated. And it's partially my fault because I don't want to constantly change quarterbacks like I did last year. I want to get somebody and stick with him. So I've just been waiting for the perfect player. And I'll show you guys a couple options of players that I'm thinking of. Also, guys, this entire episode is going to be kind of about like team building and strategy. So if that's not your thing, you're really like only a gameplay guy, you can click off the video. But for me, I like strategy, team building, all that stuff that involves no money spent. So we're going to try to figure out what players we need to upgrade. And uh, you guys can help me out in the comments. So the first player that I was thinking about uh, upgrading was Zach Wilson. Now, Zach Wilson is good. He's not great. Uh, you have to power him up if you want to get Gunslinger. Uh, he'll be a 90 overall, and the accuracy stats are pretty decent. They're pretty good. Not anything too crazy. He'll have 92 throw power. The speed is decent at, what, 83, 6 foot 2. Definitely like the most budgety Gunslinger quarterback, but I've used him. His release in the pocket isn't fantastic. And there's other better options out there, but Zach Wilson is, is definitely a possibility. Now, the other quarterback option is Josh Allen. Now, if you guys are veterans of the No Money Spent series, you know that Josh Allen has been a staple 
of this team for a long time, okay? I had Josh Allen for a crazy long time last year, and he was a very meta quarterback. Like I said, I want to get quarterbacks that are not exactly the quarterbacks everyone is picking up. That's why I have Justin Herbert. I had Justin Herbert last year for a while, and I would like to stick with him, but it doesn't seem like EA is going to give him an upgrade anytime soon. And for me to literally win games, I have to have a quarterback that's going to help me out. So this Josh Allen is a player I was strongly considering. Now, I don't need to power him up to get Gunslinger. And I played a lot with him on my other account, my Rams Steam Team account, just to try him out, see if he's any good. And uh, this has been probably the best quarterback that I've used personally all year. And the reason why is because his throw on the run, his accuracy, one, is 93, and two... Uh, his throw on the run release is absolutely fantastic. He only has 83 speed, but it feels like so much more. He's six foot five, 233 pounds. So when he gets hit, he doesn't fumble. This Josh Allen is not rated that much better than Zach Wilson, but he feels so much better. So this is an option at quarterback. Okay, this is an option. Now the last option is kind of like a uh, how do I put this? A revolving door. Okay. It's not actually somebody that's in the game yet, but I think it's somebody that could be coming out very, very soon. And if we decide on a player like this, uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit. And that is Michael Vick, okay? I don't even know why I typed in his name all the way, but uh, it's Michael Vick, all right? I think Michael Vick is going to be coming out very soon. I think we could potentially see uh, a new Lamar Jackson very soon. And using a mobile quarterback yeah, that's that's very different from the current meta, from the Dan Marinos, from the Zach Wilsons, the Josh Allens, I think could be really good and really fun for this series. So that's something I'm also considering. Guys, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. It's going to be a poll for you guys to vote on. Please vote and let me know what quarterback you want to see as the normally spent quarterback. Do you want to see Josh Allen, Zach Wilson, maybe wait for a mobile quarterback like a Lamar Jackson or a Michael Vick? You got to let me know down in the comment section and most importantly, vote on that link that I left you guys. Now, other than quarterback, I don't really have a huge problem with my team. Um, I think I need one more receiver. I'd like to get another playmaker, right? I'd like to get another route tech. Jamar Chase is probably going to stay there because... I don't know. He's free. He's decent speed. But I'd like to get another route tech receiver. So ah, Tyree Kill. I don't want to quick sell him. I don't want him to go. These are all NAT players. I've done a good job at getting players that are free. But I feel like at this point, I need to spend some of my coins. So I'd like to get another receiver. I think we should also start thinking about theme teams. We should also start thinking about strategy cards. These are all things that I can spend my coins on. And I think one of the most important things is strategy cards. You guys always ask me, why do I not use them? Well, in the beginning, when I had a terrible, terrible team, it was smarter for me to quick sell those strategy cards and use those coins to help my team. Looking back on that, probably not the greatest decision, but it is what it is. We need to find our way to get some of these speed strategy cards. And really, the only way that you can do that um, is by opening packs. We have 800,000 coins. Um, we could grind up, maybe get ourselves like a new quarterback and then try to get some of those some of those packs and, and, and open them and get speed cards. But then once we do that, we kind of have to commit on a theme team. And I'm not exactly sure who I want to do. I'd like to I'd like to wait until like we get uh, a most feared promo or something like that. Or, or just something where I can see uh, how these theme teams are going to progress. I would like to use the Washington football theme team again. I thought that was actually a pretty fun and unique theme team that I used last year, but I'm not exactly sure, okay? I'm not exactly sure who I want to use. Maybe we go with, like, the Broncos. I don't really see them having that many crazy cornerbacks. I don't know. See, these are all questions that I need your guys' help down in the comment section below. You have to help me out. At this point, I think I've milked the uh, free players as much as I can in building a lineup. I think I'm going to have to start spending coins on actual players very, very soon. And we have 800K, so that's what we're going to do very soon. One last thing that I want to say in this video, and again, if you guys have made it this far, you're absolute legends, but something that I made a point about this year in this no money spent series is playing a realistic amount of games on this account obviously this is my this is my job this is what i do for a living so uh everything that i'm doing while i'm working revolves around madden understanding the game getting better at the game earning coins making videos creating content all that stuff right 
So, oh my goodness, it sucks seeing a two and three record. But uh, something that I did not take into account last year is that with how much I play, it's not realistic for most no money spent players, okay? You guys can see I am 25 and nine on this account. For people that say, oh, you know, no money spent is so hard. I don't have the time to play the game as much as you. I only have this many head-to-head -head season games, and I've only completed one full weekend league. Every other weekend league I played like, I don't know, I think the most was maybe 13 games at the, at the very most, and I'm not a god player, right? I'm not gonna win every single game. I was like, I don't know, nine and four, something like that. So I'm not playing the game a ton. This is just something that I really wanted to show you guys so that you know that I'm keeping this series Pretty darn realistic like I said I saw a comment on this uh, a week or two ago and I just wanted to address it just so that you guys know right that that having it seem like this uh, building a squad like this is wholeheartedly possible so that's really all I had to say uh, in this episode I know this one might be a little bit weird with there being no gameplay but this no money spent series is so much more than just gameplay it is about team building it is an entire series and that's why we have episodes like this to kind of help us regroup and figure out what we're going to do with our team because i know you guys go through this all the time where you're like dude i have no direction with my team what am i doing who do i upgrade i don't know what to do that's what you guys are for to help me and that's what i'm for to help you guys so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new and guys i'll see you in my next upload peace I'm so, I'm so